praise my soul, the King of heaven, to visit your tribute ring, ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven, and evermore his praise as sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Praise the everlasting King. Praise Him for His grace and favor to our fathers in distress. Praise Him still the same as ever, slow to chide and swift to bless. Alleluia, alleluia, glorious in His faithfulness. Father, like He tends and spares, us. Well, our feeble frame he knows. In his hand he gently bears us, rescues us from all our foes. Alleluia, alleluia, widely yet his mercy flows. Frail as summer's flower we flourish, blows the wind and it is gone. But while mortals rise and perish, our God lives unchanging on. Alleluia, alleluia, praise. The high eternal one. Angels help us to adore him. You behold him face to face. Sun and moon bow down before him. Dwellers all in time and space. Alleluia, alleluia, praise with us the God of grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth these two people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, we give you thanks for your great glory. 
Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our At the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel Meholah, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following the twelfth. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, and taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh, and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. You are 
are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. O oh Lord, it is you who are my portion and God. You yourself who secure my lot. You are my I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord before me always. With him at my right hand I shall not be moved. Show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand bliss forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters. But do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement. Namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, Beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. When the day for Jesus' being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there. But they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another another he said, follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, But first, let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, no one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. In today's gospel, we see a turning point in Luke where Jesus sets his face on Jerusalem. He's locked in. He is focused. And for the next 10 chapters, he's on his journey to Jerusalem. And he must have been very persuasive with his preaching because people are coming from all over the place. And, and, and there's someone here, he said, Jesus, I'll go anywhere you want me to go. And Jesus looks at him and say, says, foxes have holes, birds have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. In other words, you may be expecting a normal life. If you follow me, you can be assured that you will live an unsettled life in this transient world. In other words, I'll be sure to mess up your plans. Okay. Another guy is around you. He says, follow me. He says, well, let me first bury my dead. What that probably means is that He's got people in his family who are about ready to die. He has an obligation to to be with them until they die and bury them. And Jesus says something that is really shocking. He says, let the dead bury the dead. You focus on the living. Proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Another person said, I'll follow you. But first let me say goodbye to my family. I mean, family of all things. Jesus said, don't, don't, don't go back. Just, you know, because 
You need to put your hand to the plow and plow on and not even look back. I'm more important to you than your family. Wow. Is he a motivational speaker? Does he expect to get crowds of people to follow this? I, I don't know. I, I wonder, don't you? And I was thinking about motivational stories this week, and I was thinking about an NFL coach. His name is Dick Vermeil. And Dick Vermeil, he was a coach of UCLA, and then he went into the pros, and he was the coach for the Eagles, and for the Rams, and for the Chiefs. And he was known for making a poor team great in three years. So I was in Philadelphia, and an Eagles fan back then, when he brought Philadelphia to the Super Bowl, they didn't win, but that was quite a thing to even get there for the Eagles. <laughs> Hope no Eagles fans are here. Okay. <laughs> then he went to the Rams. And in three years, he brought this team to the place where they could get somewhere. And in training camp, they lost their starting quarterback. Now, what he did, he picked up this player who never, who has been bouncing around in the minor leagues for years. His name was Kurt Warner. And that winter before this season, he was stocking shelves in a grocery store. Stocking shelf. And somehow he got on the practice squads, the Rams. And so for Mill, what did he have? He had Kurt Warner, okay? <laughs> he brings Kurt Warner in with all these seasoned pros, and they're looking at this guy. How is he going to motivate his team? <laughs> well, Vermil was really caught up with this story about this tightrope walker who walked across the Niagara Falls. I think that's what it was. And everybody was saying, wow, this is crazy impossible. How in the world could you do something like this? This is amazing, you know? So he gets on the other side, and there's a wheelbarrow. You may have heard this story, right? And so he asked the crowd, how many of you think that I can cross this tightrope with this wheelbarrow? And everybody said, for the most part, they said, no, I don't think he can do it. Except for one person, he believed that he could do it. And you know what he asked that one person, don't you? Get into the wheelbarrow. <laughs> so he told this story to these pros, and he came in with his wheelbarrow. And he put it in front of Kurt Warner. And by saying this, and by doing this, he was, telling the, he was telling his team to get into this wheelbarrow because Kurt Warner is going to take you somewhere. Wow. Well, it, 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 he, he just took off. All he needed was a chance and someone to believe in him. Partway through this season, Marshall Falk, who was a great runner, he looked into his eyes and he said, this is our leader. This is our leader. And he took him to the Super Bowl and they won it. And he became an MVP another year. The great Cinderella story of the NFL. A walk-on who became great. Wow. So, how does this relate to us? Uh, I think in a lot of ways, we could relate our normal life that we live 
is stocking shelves. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm glad people are there to stock the shelves in the supermarket, so I'm not saying anything about that. But that, that's sort of a normal thing, isn't it? And we get satisfied with a normal thing. What Jesus is doing, he is, in a backhanded way, inspiring us. He's trying to reach into these people and say, you were made to do the impossible. You were made to type rope across the Niagara Falls. And you were made to have a, a, a wheelbarrow in which you carry people across the abyss in the kingdom of heaven. You are made for great things. Dear brothers and sisters, give up our small expectation. What, what I'd really like to see here is a church full of crazy people. People who, who will allow God to mess up their plan. He messed up my life, and I'm so glad he did. This is your call. Your call is to do the impossible. To be proclaimers of the kingdom of the God in your acts and in your speech. What could be more important? Even family? No. Nothing's more important than this. God has made you for something greater. And you have to tap into it. Let us stand and affirm our faith by the recitation of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God, God light from light, True God from true God. Begotten of uh, me, substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended in heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is word and glorified, who has spoken through the prophet. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the world, the world to come. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, gathered as one at the altar of the sacrifice, let us lift our prayers unto him with confidence and humility. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all bishops, priests, and deacons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For local and national leaders, legislators, judges, and public servants, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to the priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the sick and suffering of the world, especially for those on our parish prayer list. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed of this parish and for all who have departed this life in the hope of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits. Through Christ our Lord. As a holocaust of rams and bullocks and of thousands of fatted lambs, so let our sacrifice be in your sight on this day that it may be pleasing unto you. For there is no shame for those who put their trust in you, O Lord. Thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me save that Thou art. Thou my best thought, by day or by night, waking or sleeping, Thy presence my light. Be thou my wisdom and thou my true word. I never with thee, O thou with me, Lord. Thou my great Father and I thy true soul. And I with thee one. Riches I heed not, nor man's empty praise. Thou mine inheritance now and always. Thou and thou only the first in my heart, I King of Heaven, my treasure Thou art. I King of Heaven, my victory won. May I reach Heaven's joys, O bright Heaven's sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, you'll become for us 
the bread of life. Blessed be God. God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hand. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mystery, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through this Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with her blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and this morning we especially lift up to you, James Judge. And to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive 
forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word of my soul.
The King of love, my shepherd is, whose goodness fails me never. I nothing lack if I am his, and he is mine forever. Streams of living water flow, my ransomed soul he leadeth, and where the verdant pastures grow with food celestial feedeth. Perverse and foolish of thy strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark veil I fear no ill With you, dear Lord, beside me Your rod and staff my comfort still Your cross before to guide me Spread a table in my sight, your unction grace bestoweth, and oh, what transport of delight from your pure chalice flow. And so through all the length of days Your goodness fails me never Good shepherd, may I sing your praise Within your house forever By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright Who will bear my light to them Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord It is I, Lord I am
by the Lord of snow and rain. I have borne my people's pain. I have wept for love of them. They turn away. I will break their hearts of stone, give them hearts for love alone. I will speak my words to them, whom shall I send? Here I Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that, bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a few announcements. Um, please pray for our mission trip team this week as they head to Camp Cove Crest. May they find this trip spiritually enriching. Registration is now open for Vacation Bible School. After Mass today, we are handing out our fish to decorate to help us fill Big Fish Bay this July 18th through 22nd. Next, Red Cross Blood Drive will be held on July 9th. Sign up now. On July 7th, we will once again be taking casseroles to our daily bread. Please consider a donation and a recipe can be found online. And finally, if you don't have any plans for lunch today, you can go over here and can celebrate with Father Thomas Gimai, a recently ordained father. He'll want to see you. The Lord be with you. Bow down to the blessing. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, witnessing to the gospel with your lives. No 
strength of ours can match his might. We would be lost, rejected. But now a champion comes to fight, whom God alone elected. You ask who this may be, the Lord of hosts is he, Christ Jesus, mighty Lord, God's only Son adored. He holds the field victorious. The hordes of devils fill the land, all threatening to devour us. We tremble not, unmoved we stand. tyrant rage in battle we'll engage his might is doomed to fail God's judgment must prevail one little word subdues him God's word forever shall abide no thanks to foes who fear it for God our Lord fights by our side with weapons of the spirit were they to take our house goods on child or spouse, though life be wrenched away, they cannot win the day. The kingdom's ours forever.